so the door frames back on after getting a new door installed. Okay, to give you an update, I've got the little pad port here for the Wi-Fi and well station. And uh, boy, I thought I brought them, but apparently I totally forgot my concrete finishing tools. So it stinks, but I'm afraid this is how it's going to look, except uh, here in a little bit, as soon as it sets a little more, I'm going to take the forms off. I'm going to run a, I've got a rough broom that I can run across here to give it a little bit of a, I don't know, more of an outdoor finish. Oh, I have to find another weatherproof box to mount above this here, uh, up here on the pole, because the well controllers I would prefer to have in something lockable, especially since we've been thieved from before. And so I'm gonna do that. Okay, here it is with the forms pulled off and put a little bit of a brush finish on it. It looks terrible, it honestly does. And as you can see, I might've pulled the form off too soon because some stuff broke off the corner. But, uh, you know, hopefully it'll last a while. Folks, let me introduce you to my new boots. <laughs> I say new, I got them at Christmas and didn't really start wearing them until I got here at Contentment, what, three weeks ago? April Fool's Day. April like Fool's that. Day, yeah. And so, um, uh, these have been great. They're awesome. I'm, as you can see, I'm already tearing them up because I'm really hard on footwear. We forgot to get the toe dipped. Yeah, we still can. They make a dip that you can dip the toe in and um, to give it added protection. I might, might, might have liked to do that, but they're waterproof and uh, uh, they feel really good. They also have added insulation down to, I think they're good for, I don't know, down to five below or something like that. Okay. So these were my Christmas present from Robert. And thank you, Robert. I love them. You're welcome. Um, <clears throat> I wore Red Wings as a young man, you know, like 30 some odd years ago, I had a pair and I, I like them, but I didn't wear them that much and they tended to be uncomfortable. I think Red Wing has come a long way. Um, at the end of the day, my feet are tired, but um, you know, it's to be expected if I'm on my feet all day. Um, but uh, pretty comfortable. I'm very happy with them. I'll let you know how they, I'll let you know how they progress. This is a pair of Magellan hunting boots. And I got them at a big box retail store for like $20 at the end of season. Mm -hmm. So you've got hunting boots and I've got logging boots. Huh? I guess I guess that means you'll be doing the hunting and I'll be doing the logging. I have to have, um, before I hunt, I'm gonna have to have a tripod. I just know it, because I won't be able to see out with my bad eyes. There's something else I wanna show you. Um, <clears throat> this is a gift from Nona Grace. And for those of you who have been to her channel, you know she is about as sweet as they come. Well, um, some of you know that we visited Nona Grace last August, uh, and we happened to be there doing Robert's birthday. And so Nona Grace gave this to Robert uh, well, for her birthday. And Well, it was just a gift. I don't know that it was for my birthday. Well, she wrapped it really nice. Yes. And, but anyway. Um, it is an American flag applique that you stick on your vehicle or home or wherever. And I promised Nona Grace that we would have a video coming up here where we would actually uh, apply it to the side of, or the back of Buzz. Well, we, the reason why we haven't applied it yet is because we haven't, we never could figure out where we wanted it. Yeah. We thought about putting it on Dinah. Uh -huh. Then we thought about putting it on Buzz. Then we thought about putting it here on the shouse. Mm -hmm. So, but now we know where we're going to put it. Yeah, Buzz gets it, and we couldn't be happier. And the reason uh, we haven't applied it to the back of Buzz yet, Nona Grace, is because uh, the temperatures have been too cold out here. It's the instructions say 70 degrees. We thought we were going to get some 70 degree days here pretty, uh, pretty soon, but we haven't yet. It's hovering around 60, so we want to make sure this stays on well. But I wanted to bring this up because I promised Nona Grace that we would feature this in a video, and so we are. If you have not checked out Nona Grace, you need to. She is like a modern day Will Rogers. Um, 
Uh, she is funny. She tells stories about her life that are engaging and interesting. And uh, we love her. We love her to death. Um, we, we're we thankful for, to know her and to have met her. And uh, so please go check out her channel. She is definitely worth a daily visit. <laughs> got the cold frame finished yay it was kind of tough going fighting the wind on this but uh, we got it done we got got the lid wrapped both inside and out to form a little air gap in there to help with the insulating quality and uh, lid support and bungees to help with the wind because it's so windy here that uh, with these supports even though this lids kind of heavy you could still tend to pull it up force it back and so we decided to put some bungees in place here to help prevent that now it's time to moisten this soil and uh, put a thermometer or two in here and see how this thing works out okay robber it's time to introduce a new piece of equipment here for contentment it is a it's the name of this thing is Dumpy because it's a big dump. <laughs> what does that mean, big dump? <laughs> it's old. Uh, anything is, else? This is Dumpy. It's going to be a dump truck. It made it up a hill. Just a little one, not a big one. <laughs> but supposedly it can drive up into the mountain and get us some wood. It can do more than that. It can get gravel for our building Watch needs out. and it can get dirt and gravel and wood and building supplies yep it's got a 16 foot bed i think it's not a long one it's got a 16 foot bed heavy duty axle two speed axle and a total of eight gears and uh i mean it's just a beater truck and when i say beater i mean this thing is half bondo but uh what the heck as long as it does the job for us, what do we care, right, Robert? I think it will be a great tool. It'll be a great tool. It will. So, glad to have it. it. Needs a little TLC, you know, make sure uh, the lights work and uh, transmission works and the axle works and the engine runs great. It's got a rebuilt engine. Engine was rebuilt at 88,000 miles and it now has 92,000 miles on it. It's got a 351 engine in it and an Allison transmission. Look, this is a truck. This, this little uh, starter thing's on the wrong side. <clears throat> Should be over here, but it's not. Good old truck. Just beat. It's just beat, though. It's just beat. It's got good rubber on it. Old truck. Where are you going to drive it to? Don't go this way, it's really super sandy. And? Oh. This is old. Old truck, man. Look at this bouncy thing. You gotta turn the wheel about eight times to get it to turn for you. Is that a bad thing? No. Oh god, it's we're going down a big hill. We're gonna roll over. <laughs> Why what is that banging? That's those loose stake sides back there.
you don't want to go too far down here because it's got that big dip and it's real sandy. Wow. You know how high we are above the ground here? How much ground clearance we got on this thing? Each hip always does this kind of stuff and it scares me. I have to put it to the <coughs> test. Mm.